Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today I will be reacting to Portugal's demolition derby against Switzerland as they put six past the Swiss to make it into the quarterfinals of the 2022 FIFA World Cup and set up a meeting with the only African nation left in the World Cup tournament in Morocco who upset Spain on penalties in their round of 16 match. Goals from Gonzalo Ramos, Pepe, Rafael Guerrero, and Rafael Leao did the damage for the Portuguese, while Akanji got one for the Swiss in the 58th minute. We'll start in the 17th minute, where Gonzalo Ramos got his first goal uh, at the World Cup and his first start at the um, uh, first competitive international start for Portugal. He receives a pass from Joao Felix and wallops the ball into the top left corner beautifully right in the upper 90. No one could get it. And uh, Summer had never had a chance and Portugal take an early lead. Then in the 33rd minute, Bruno Fernandes puts a ball in from a corner and Pepe rises highest and connects with the thumping header to put it into the net. The 39-year-old scores his first goal at this World Cup. They go into halftime at 2-0. Then, as soon as they come out, back out, six minutes after the break, Gonzalo Ramos gets his second of the night. Ramos steals in at the near post to convert uh, Dalo's low cross past Summer. Um, in the 55th minute, just four minutes later, it's four for Portugal. Gonzalo Ramos puts a ball up for Guerrero on the left side off of a Portuguese counterattack, and he lashes it into the back of the net, and the left back gets his goal. One minute later, Switzerland hit back but with one. Uh, Akanji gets his head on a deflected corner, so the corner comes in. There's a flick on from a Swiss man, and Akanji is at the back post and reacts quickest to put it into the back of the net. And Switzerland could have a uh, point here to make with their consolation goal. But in the 67th minute, Portugal continue their scoring run. Gonzalo Ramos gets his hat trick for Portugal as Joao Felix sends Gonzalo Ramos running into the box. And he puts a beautiful lob over Summer and into the bottom left corner to give Portugal their fifth. Their sixth came in the in stoppage time of the second half. Rafael Leao gets the ball from Rafael Guerrero and cuts inside and floats a beautiful hit into the far corner. Summer um, is wrong-footed and could never didn't it did not move at all. And Rafael Rafael Leao gets the sixth for Portugal, and that is how the match ends. So Portugal will go through to a quarterfinal against Morocco. Um, this match was all Portugal. Surprisingly, the um, possession statistics were pretty balanced, so Switzerland actually weren't completely out of it. It was more that they just didn't have a chance. Um, but Portugal, every time they came forward, they were breaking Switzerland open completely. They had no way of stopping the Portuguese attack. Gonzalo Ramos was unbelievable. Um, I don't. I, I have a feeling he'll start against Morocco in place of Cristiano Ronaldo because this is. I mean, they. I don't think. I. I. I he. He. I don't think Ronaldo would have scored the goals that he did today. Um, Ramos was just on a different level, and so dropping him for the first time. I don't know. We'll see. It could be a good move. Um, but we'll have to see in the next match. Um, but Portugal destroyed Switzerland today. All, all basically on the counterattack. A lot of it um, just breaking out fast from the defense and playing their passes right, picking the movements right, um, making sure, sure they were moving right before picking that final pass and just tapping it almost into the net. Um, all of the goals from Portugal's side were inside the penalty box. So no crazy long-range goals today except for Leao's. Um, everything else was really just team building. Um, well, you know, team uh, team goals where it was it was more about the passing than the finish today. Um, two defenders got in on the scoring in Guerrero and Pepe for Portugal. Dalo got an assist at right back. Um, Gonzalo Ramos, of course, with the three goals. Joao Felix with two assists and Bruno with his one assist for Pepe. Portugal looked very good today. I just don't see them getting to the semi uh, getting to the finals of the World Cup just because they are not a top top team like we saw in Brazil. 
Um, I don't think we've seen that consistently enough from Portugal. I know we saw, um, like, I think Portugal's, um, Portugal did finish top of their group, but they lost to South Korea, which is probably their most concerning point. They still have, you know, slots where they can be opened up at the back. Their midfield isn't completely solid defensively, so... Um, I think if they do have to play in the semifinals, of course, if they win, they, they'll play one of France or England. And I think if it is France, they could have a little bit of trouble getting past them. Um, it's certainly going to be an interesting match there, but it will be Morocco first for Portugal. So they will have to get past the last African nation in the tournament. Um, what, a, what a tournament Morocco's having. They have been playing excellently, um, but they're, I think this is going to be easily their biggest test against Portugal. Um, with the form they're in from this match, it's going to be a very, very close match. Uh, but that is it for my reactions to Por Portugal's 6-1 victory over Switzerland. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. If you want to see more World Cup content, make sure you like the video and comment down below what your reactions were to this match. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!